the eight limbs of yoga are what yoga, you know, that's an important part of yoga. That's yoga. And in the West, we tend to think of yoga as just the asana, the movement. And there's so much more to it. It is an endlessly deep well. So coming on to your mat. And just take your feet in a comfortable position. So hip distance, whatever's comfortable where you feel nice and grounded. Maybe gentle bend in the knees, get some proprioception off the earth. That was the word of the day yesterday. And if you'd like to close your eyes, go ahead and close your eyes. Otherwise, just gaze at the earth at a spot that's not moving in front of you. Let the eyes rest. Watching the breath come in and out. And every inhale, watching the crown of the head move towards the heavens, towards the sky. And every time you exhale, Allow the hips to sink further down into the earth, the legs rooting, the feet grounding down, like there's roots coming out of the bottom. So they're, the hips and the head are going in opposite directions. You're getting taller, keeping that length, and then grounding downward at the same time. Maybe becoming more involved with the breath and watching it lengthen and smooth out. Being mindful of the pause at the top and the bottom of the breath. And the shoulders to soften downward, face is soft. Take one more round here, getting taller and grounding down at the same time. And then blinking the eyes open if they were closed. And taking the feet either big toes touching or they can stay hip distance apart. Moving into Tadasana mountain pose. As you inhale, keeping that length, long, smooth breath, the arms reach up overhead. Exhale, lower down, belly in. So focus on the chest every inhale and the belly every exhale. Inhale. Exhale, belly in. Inhale. Keeping the shoulders away from the ears. Exhale. One more like this. Inhale. Exhale. Taking the feet together, big toes touching. Take the right toes out at a diagonal, step the left foot forward. Feet are hip distance apart. Hips are forward. So pause here for a moment because you've been in this posture in this class multiple times. So the hips are forward. Maybe if I turn this way, you could see it more. So. The hips are as forward as is possible, as is comfortable, right? We're not forcing the body. See if you can raise the left hip, right? Because being in this position, it's probably more like this. I don't know if you can really see this. Maybe my hands help. You're rotating the hips forward. You're raising the left hip just slightly to level the hips out. Think level the hips and bring the right hip forward little tiny micro adjustments to play with, right? If it doesn't feel good, don't worry about it. Inhale, arm comes up. Exhale, fold, hands can come to the thighs, shin or the earth. 
keeping the front leg straight. As you inhale, raise halfway. So the upper body's parallel with the earth. The arms can come to the side or biceps by the ears. If the biceps can stay there, exhale, fold, belly in. Keeping the legs straight, inhale, raise all the way up. Exhale, hands to the sides. So the front leg stays straight, not locked out though, okay? Keep a gentle bend in the knee. So we're not putting pressure into the knee. We're using the muscles around the joint. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold, belly in. Keeping the hips level. Inhale, Arda, halfway lift. Chest is forward, right? It's coming forward. The chin is tucked so the back of the neck is long. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise. Anchoring through that back leg. And exhale, arms to the sides. Long, smooth breaths. Inhale. Exhale, fold. Keep the length in the spine. Inhale, Arda, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise to standing. Exhale, lower the arms. Stepping the left foot back to be with the right foot. Feet are together. And turn the left toes out at a diagonal. Step the right foot forward. So same thing this side. Hips are forward. Maybe making that adjustment if that works for you today. Right hip lifts. Left hip comes forward, leveling the hips out. Inhale, arms up. Keeping the hips level. Exhale, fold. Again, hands can come to the thigh, shin or the earth. Inhale, Arda, halfway lift. Exhale, belly and fold. Inhale, rise. Exhale, lower the arms. Before we do the next round, I'd like you to really focus as you're rising, anchor through that, that back heel, right? That's your lever to pull all of this weight up, you know, the whole upper body back up. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, belly in, fold. Inhale, Arda, halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise, anchoring that heel. Exhale, arms down. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Halfway lift. Exhale, hold. Inhale, rise. Exhale, lower the arms. Stepping the right foot back to be with the left foot. And taking the feet hip distance apart. As you inhale, arms come up overhead. Exhale, belly and fold. Hands can come to the thigh, shin, or the earth. As you inhale, Arda, halfway up. So the arms, again, biceps can be by the ears or arms out to the side or arms behind the back. Exhale, belly in, fold. 
Inhale, rise. Exhale, arms down. So it's the same thing we were just doing, except the feet are together now. Inhale. Meaning where they're not one in front of the other, like our last posture. Exhale, fold. You can still have the feet hip distance apart. Inhale, Arda, halfway lift. Keep the chin tucked, back of the neck is long. Exhale, fold, belly in. Inhale, rise. Exhale, arms down. Two more. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, Arda. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise. Exhale, arms to the sides. Beautiful. Coming with your feet together. So moving into chair pose, as you inhale, arms come up. You can also have your feet apart if that's more comfortable. As you exhale, squat like you're sit sitting in a chair. So the hips go back. Try to keep the upper body as upright as possible. Hands can just come to the heart center. Inhale, rise. Arms up. And exhale, lower the arms. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands to heart squat like you're seated in a chair. Belly in, heart forward. Press through both heels. Inhale, rise. Exhale, hands down. Adding on here. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, squat. Belly, belly in. Going as low as is comfortable. As you inhale, come up just a little bit. Pressing through the heels. So an Arda. Exhale, squat back down. Inhale, rise. Exhale, lower the arms. So if you can squat all the way down, my heels don't do this, my, my ankles. So it's like ideally your, your, your heels are on the ground and you are squatting like you're all the way down, right? If that works for the knees, hips, et cetera. So if your heels can stay on the floor, that's ideal. If you want to squat all the way down, it's more important to have the chest upright. So I can't do that unless my heels lift right? And then I can do it. Otherwise, I'd be like this. So we want the chest open. So you choose what's right for you today. If you want to squat all the way down to be able to do a little more of an Arda, a halfway lift before we lower back down, go ahead and do that. Okay. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, squat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, belly and lower. Press through both heels equally. Inhale, rise. Exhale, lower the arms. Coming down onto your backs. So this is a little different practice today. We'll be taking a couple rest points. The knees can be bent or straight.
And just let the body settle downward. Eyes can be closed. Maybe taking an exhale through the mouth. Let the body release downward. Releasing control of the breath. Giving the body and the mind a break. Right? Yoga takes focus. It takes concentration. We don't mindfully move through the postures. Or mindlessly move through the postures. So starting at the crown of the head, bringing your attention down the back of the head to the shoulders, maybe making an adjustment to roll the shoulders back and down and place attention on both the shoulders, allowing, feeling the weight of the shoulders in the earth, the support of the earth. And then following my voice, bring the attention down, both arms to both elbows. Place attention there. Both wrists. Both hands. And all the fingers on both hands. Bringing attention back up to the wrist, elbow, shoulders, heart center, center of the chest. down to the solar plexus at the bottom of the ribs, belly button, pubic bone, both hips, down the thighs, both knees, down the leg, lower legs to both ankles, both feet, and the toes on all, all the toes on both feet. Just feeling the feet on the earth or the ankles on the earth, whichever way you're lying. And then continuing with our practice, straighten the legs out. The eyes can stay closed if you'd like. Shoulders are away from the ears, arms are by the sides. As you inhale, arms come up overhead or out to the side, whatever feels good. Flex through both feet like you're standing on the floor. As you exhale, belly comes in, legs raised to the ceiling. Knees can be bent or straight. Arms lower down to the sides. Keep the head in one position. Inhale, open back up, lowering the legs, raising the arms. Landing soundlessly like a feather hitting the earth. And exhale, arms back down to the sides. We'll stay with this. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, lift the legs, lower the arms. Inhale, open back up. Exhale, lower the arms. So really focus on the belly. The belly should be doing all the work. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, engage the belly, legs lift. Inhale, lower the legs. Using the strength of the belly, arms up. And exhale, arms to the sides. Again, inhale, arms up. Exhale, legs up, arms down. Inhale, open up. Exhale, 
Exhale, arms to the sides. This time we're going in for a stay, if that sounds like it would feel good to you. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, legs up. Stay here, inhale. Stay here, exhale. Shoulders are soft, face is soft. Inhale, lower the legs, raise the arms. Exhale, lower the arms. Pause for a moment. Just observing, noticing any sensations in the body. And then bending the knees, taking the knees towards the chest for apanasana, hands on the knees. And as you inhale, just flex the feet, feet to the sky. Arms can reach up and over if you'd like, or out to the sides. Knees can be bent. Exhale, point the toes, knees towards chest, hands to knees. Get those ankles going. Inhale, flex the feet, feet to the sky. Arms can raise up and over. Separate your toes. So spread the toes as much as possible. Exhale. In exhale, point the toes, knees towards chest, hands to knees. Inhale, flex the feet, feet to the sky, spread the toes. Last one, point the toes, exhale, knees towards chest. And on the inhale, take the feet back down to the earth. Arms are by the sides, so your feet are hip distance apart. Feet are parallel, shoulders are rolled back and down away from the neck, the ears, and arms are by the sides, moving into bridge pose, dvipada pitam. As you inhale, press into the feet, raise the hips off the ground, feeling the stretch in the front of the body. Arms stay by the sides, exhale, belly in, lower down. Again, inhale, lift the hips. Engage equally through both glutes. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Focus on the belly. As you exhale, bring the belly in and lower the hips. One more, inhale, lift, keeping the knees tracking over the feet. We don't want the knees to splay out. Exhale, lower. Pause here for a moment. And then taking the knees towards the chest again for apanasana. Doing it a little differently this time. As you inhale, take the feet together, the feet to the earth, the knees go wide, the arms can reach out to the sides or up overhead, supta baddha konasana. Exhale, knees towards chest, hands to knees. Again, inhale, supta baddha konasana, knees wide. Exhale, knees towards chest. Inhale, keeping with this, knees wide. Exhale, knees to chest. On this last one, we're going to hold if you would like. Inhale. Supta Baddha Konasana. I'd like you to feel into the pelvic bowl if that feels safe. So staying here, breathing on your own long, smooth breaths. 
feel the pelvic bowl on the inhale drop down like as if the breath is filling your entire abdomen down to your pubic bone everything expands widens exhale the belly comes in the, the pelvic bowl rises upward the perineum think of the perineum coming upward like it's a it's actually a diaphragm down there so we have multiple diaphragms in our body. Take one more breath here, inhaling, widening, softening. Exhale, belly in. Bring knees gently come back together and knees come towards chest. Take a breath here with the knees towards the chest, inhaling. Exhaling. And on your next inhale, take the feet back down to the earth. Knees can be bent or straight. We're resting, Shavasana. So whatever is comfortable for you, allow the body to just settle. Release control of the breath. Let the mind and body rest. We'll be here for one minute. Bending your knees, feet are on the earth, feet are hip distance apart. We'll be moving with Tadaka Mudra. So if you would like, you can take your palms together and clasp the fingers. If this feels good, turn the palms away from the face. So the palms are facing down towards the knees. You can also just keep your hands separate if that does not feel good on the hands or wrists. As you inhale, arms reach up overhead. Maybe the pinkies touch the earth, maybe not. Exhale, focus on the belly coming in. On the exhale, as you lower the arms back down, keep the clasp if they're clasped. We're gonna stay with this. Inhale, focus on the belly rising, filling up. Exhale, belly comes in, lower the arms. Really activating the belly. We're going to need it for where we're going. Inhale, arms up. So bring the mind to about two inches below the navel. That's the point that I'd like you to focus the mind. Exhale, that part comes in towards the spine gently as you lower the arms. One more like this, inhale, eyes can stay closed. Exhale, lower the arms, belly in. Listen for the change, inhale, arms up. Exhale, stay here, belly in. Inhale, stay. Exhale, lower. Staying with that, inhale, arms up.
Exhale, stay. Inhale, stay. Exhale, lower. Inhale, raise the arms. Exhale, stay, belly in. Inhale, stay. Exhale, lower. Moving on, adding on. Inhale, arms up. Listen carefully, exhale, stay, belly in. Hold after the exhale, maybe belly gets sucked up under the ribs. Gently release, push the belly back out, then inhale. Exhale, lower the arms. So it's very important after you suck the belly up and under in the hold after the exhale, that you release the belly first before inhaling. Again, inhale, arms up. You can also choose to just inhale, exhale, raising and lowering the arms. Exhale, belly in. Or any of the other steps before we got here. Hold, belly comes in and under the ribs. Push it back out gently, inhale. Exhale, lower the arms. Keep the mind on that point in the belly. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, belly in. Hold, suck the belly in. Push the belly out, inhale. Exhale, lower the arms. One more like this, inhale. Softening any other part of the body that's not needed for this, exhale. Hold, suck the belly in. Push the belly out, inhale. Exhale, lower the arms. Release the grasp if the hands are clasped. Just pause for a moment. Eyes can stay closed. Hands can rest on the belly or by the sides. Observing. The left side of the body and the right side of the body. The whole body. And then turning over onto a side, pressing up to tabletop position, hands and knees. As you exhale, just shift the hips back for counter pose. Hips towards heels. And inhale, come forward, gent bringing the chest gently through the arms, maybe the chin lifts. Exhale, chin comes towards the chest, bring the hips towards the heels, shifting back. 
Inhale, shift the head forward, lifting gently, chest comes through the arms. So initiate the movement back and forth with your head. Let the head be the beginning and ending of all of it. Moving with your own breath, keep going. If it feels good to take any extra movement, like any hip shifting side to side or anything else like that, please do so. Preparing the body, releasing any tension. Taking one more round here. And when you're ready, coming up, coming to a seated or lying down position, I'd like the back against something. So whether it's leaning against a bed or a couch or a, a bureau or wall or the floor, go ahead and do so. <clears throat> Make sure the body's comfortable. If you're seated on a chair, making sure the feet are on the floor. And the eyes can be closed. Just observe, let the body settle from the movement of getting into your seated position or lying down position. Settle the energy downward. And then working with an extended exhale I'll explain it first, we'll be inhaling free and then exhale counting to the count of four in your mind. Then inhale free, no count, exhale for the count of five. So each exhale, you'll be adding one, one more count to it. Free inhale, one count added on each exhale. So starting at four, going to whatever is comfortable. And when you feel as if you've reached about 70% of capacity of your length of your exhale, whether that's five or six or eight or whatever it is that you could comfortably do for 12 rounds, just stay there and keep repeating the pattern. Keep the mind focused on the breath. If it wanders off, spaces out, bring it back to what you're doing. Exhale all the air here. Inhale, go ahead and start. Taking one more round here.
When you finished your last round, just allow the breathing to be, allow yourself to be breathed, losing control of it. And then bringing the mind to a beautiful tree. Maybe it's a tree you saw yesterday, maybe it's a tree from your childhood or in your neighborhood. Either visualizing, bringing back a memory or imagining a beautiful tree, big, beautiful tree. The setting around it. whether there's water or fields or whatever's around it, seeing it rising up. And walking over to it, you feel drawn to it, so you walk over to it. And it's a perfect day, whatever that means for you. It's just a perfect day. So you sit down by the tree, resting your back against the tree. The roots are underneath your hips, spreading deep and wide. The giant trunk is so solid. You feel the support behind your back, the stability, and that stability behind you gives you ease in the body, ease in your mind. And a sense of gratitude just overcomes you, this sense of well-being. Nothing to do but sit here. Feel that support of the tree behind you and under you and above you, creating some shade maybe. Maybe there's birds singing. And then you realize that each time you inhale, you're receiving the gift from the tree, the oxygen from the tree that it's created. Feeling the chest expand as you inhale and as you exhale and the chest relaxes, you realize that you're feeding the tree. The tree takes in the carbon dioxide it nourishes its system, it transmutes it, and it kicks back out the oxygen for us to breathe. So there's a cycle here, there's a circle, there's an interdependence. Keeping the mind on the chest and the belly, feeling the inhale and exhale, Feeling the connection of the tree against the back. Breathing. Cultivating that sense of interdependence and support that's all around you. Realizing that everything supports everything else. Keeping the mind on this object of meditation. The mind wanders, bring it back. Bring those qualities into yourself. Feel yourself maybe sinking into the tree. You are the tree, the tree is you. Bring those qualities of stability and strength and resilience and nurturance, support, mm -hmm. 
all anything that pops into mind that's along those lines that are uplifting to you or that you need to bring into yourself what is the tree telling you focusing on the breath feeling the support behind the back i'm going to be quiet On your next inhale, taking a little deeper inhale. Maybe rotating the wrists, moving the hands around in a circle one way. And then the other. Rubbing the hands together, the palms of the hands together. Create a little bit of warmth between the palms of the hands. And then gently bring the palms over the eyes. Again, inhale, rub the palms together, creating some friction, some heat. And exhale, the palms to the eyes, just gently cupping. One more time like this. Inhale, rubbing the palms together. And exhale to the eyes. Taking the hands to the ears and gently take your fingers and give yourself a little ear massage moving from the earlobes up to the top of the ears and back down. Maybe some very gentle um, tugging or rotating, like clasping the earlobes and just making little circles very gently. And then taking both hands behind the neck and just let the hands drape down the front the sides to the front of the neck, to the collarbone. Doing that a few times, hands up. So your fingertips are touching behind the base of the skull and then running the hands down the sides to the front of the neck, to the collarbone. One more time.
And blinking the eyes open if they're not open already. <clears throat> Gazing around your room, looking up at the ceiling, one corner of the ceiling. And then run the eyes over to the other corner of the ceiling. It's okay to turn your head. Down the wall to the floor. And then up to the top of the ceiling again, the same side you just did, across the ceiling. And then down that wall to the floor. It's kind of looking around that the eyes gaze around, coming back into your space. Placing the hands together at the palm, palms touching the center of the chest. And thanking your object of meditation. Taking a big inhale here. And on the exhale, releasing the object of meditation. You're a beautiful tree. Knowing that it's always there for you when you need those qualities. Bowing the head to the heart. Thank you for practicing today. Namaste.